What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create awesome looking app screenshots with an online tool called canva.com. And the great thing about this tool is that even if you're not artistically inclined like myself, it still makes it really easy for you to create eye-catching screenshots for your app. This is not a paid promotion for Canva. I just happen to really like this tool and I have been using it for quite some time. So let's jump into my computer and I'll show you how it's done. So you want to go to canva.com and just a quick disclaimer, I am using the paid version, which is around $12 per month. I just find that the premium features are such good value for money. And yeah, I don't mind paying that $12 uh, monthly subscription. So what you want to do is go to create a design and we're going to create an iPhone X screenshot. So the dimension would be 1242 by 2688. So select those dimensions. And then what you want to do is make sure you have all your gameplay uh, screenshots and game assets ready. Um, then you can just upload them to the Canva website. Uh, if you click on the uploads tab, and you can see here on the left, uh, once they finish loading, I have all my gameplay assets ready. Uh, if you want to import more, you simply click on upload media and you can grab them from there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just select a basic screenshot as our base. And I will show you how I create some awesome looking screenshots. Okay, so here's a basic gameplay screenshot. And what I do then, remember when you're creating your screenshots, you don't wanna clutter them with too much text, although you do wanna have an overlay uh, stating something about the game. So I'll then click on elements and select a basic shape, which will be used for our text overlay. Uh, Okay, then I'm gonna move it to the bottom and just resize it like that. And then the cool thing about Canva is it does come with a lot of cool um, fonts. Uh, so we're gonna look for something eye-catching, maybe this one. And delete those two. And then we're gonna move it down to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna create something like, because it's a bingo game, bingo, let's copy and paste. Oh. Copy and paste the text. Something just simple like bingo fun. Okay, so we have our text at the bottom. And now I'm just gonna make the screenshot a little bit more appealing. I always advocate if you do have characters in your game, it's a great way psychologically people relate more um, to characters. So I always try and use them in my games, uh, in, in the app marketing material, sorry. Um, yeah, just a little bit more eye-catching. So I have my characters, uh, where are they here? I have the table where they'll be playing the bingo. I'm just gonna resize it. Okay, and now we're just going to reposition that table backwards. Okay, so just a little bit more space on the screen. And then we're going to put our characters Obviously still resize them again. And then position them backwards. Okay, and then I have a stack of cash that we're going to put on the table because the game's name is Real Money Bingo. Okay, so we're just gonna resize that. And remember, just play around with it and see what looks good. And yeah, you want everything to be subtle, uh, but very eye-catching too. And then I also have some bingo cards that I can place on the table. So 
you can start to see that it's the, the screenshots telling more of a story, what the game is about. Remember, when people are looking at your screenshots, uh, they don't have a big attention span. So you have only um, a few seconds to actually gauge their attention and pretty much sell uh, your game. Um, and yeah, a lot of people make the decisions just solely on the screenshots if they want to download it or not. Uh, we can also make it rain with money. And the great thing about uh, the paid version of Canva, like you can see here, if you want to make this image transparent, all you do is simply go to edit image. And then they have a tool called a background remover, uh, which I found is really helpful um, because a lot of the other ones you have to sit there and kind of uh, manually remove the background, which takes a lot of time. Uh, this one is pretty much instant and the results pretty good. So we can make it start raining with money at the top. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, it's, it's nothing fancy, but it does the trick. Uh, it's very eye-catching, explains what the game is about. And then all you do is simply you want to download it. Uh, it gives you a lot of options, like if you want a transparent background, uh, if you want to save it as a PNG format, and then you download it onto your computer. So really simple tool to use. Um, I do use this a lot. However, I use this in the beginning when I do a soft launch, uh, just to gauge how the game is doing. Obviously, if the game is doing really well, and it's starting to make a lot of revenue for you. Uh, you do want to obviously invest in um, a professional uh, designer to create screenshots. But I find in the beginning, this tool is absolutely perfect. And yeah, you can uh, you can play around with it and it's really simple to use. So even like I said, for the graphically uh, challenged people like myself, I can still get away with some decent looking screenshots with this tool. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to get Canva, I will leave a link in the description below. Uh, if I think if you sign up, you'll get a 30 day free trial, so you can't go wrong. And if you did like that video, please smash the like button, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I will see you on the next one. Stay safe and peace out.